Talk about sacred cows. You know, working evenings and weekends is the ultimate sacred cow when it comes to real estate. You know, if you're on social media and you have friends in real estate, you see them like rise in the morning and talk about like the honor of doing real estate before 7 a.m. And then after 10 p.m., you know, still at it, you know, putting an offer in or I'm, I'm working for my clients, I'm doing a great job. And it's just ridiculous and it's not sustainable. When I say sustainable, it's not gonna lead you to having any freedom in your life. And the consequences for doing business that way are severe. You know, you damage your relationships, your emotional well-being, your physical body. And so you have to consider doing business a different way. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to get a copy of my book, Scale or Die. Scale or Die, that's the name of the book, right? I do believe that there's only one path to freedom in real estate. If you love the content, please like the video. It helps us quite a bit. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and leave comments. I love to hear from you, even if it's in a productive, constructive, challenging way. So now that we agree that traditionally successful real estate agents, that lifestyle is not sustainable. Even if it's tough to admit that, you know, I have traditional agents that are super successful in my market that claim to have freedom, yet I know they're working seven days a week and there are sacrifices to be made and there is a different way to do it. And it doesn't mean it's easy. And yet there is this proven path that we can go down together. So the first thing is to believe that there's a better way to do it, just to challenge the status quo in our industry, to challenge the status quo that most, most coaching companies bring to our industry, where their goal is just to get you as the individual to do more units, to give away more of your waking hours to real estate. And they're not really concerned with the damage there might be to other areas of your life that are really important. So it's this mindset of believing that there's a better way. I do believe that 80% of anything comes down to your psychology and your mindset, right? The, the, the path, the tools, the systems, the tactics, the strategy of building a leveraged and sustainable real estate business, all that is there. We have all of it, right? The fact that your mindset needs to shift to think that it is possible for me to sell a lot of homes, to serve a lot of families, and not give away every evening and every weekend for you to believe that that's possible. The next thing to consider is just setting standards around your time and just being open with your clients about what you're willing to do to help them buy a home or sell their home and what you're not willing to do. And uh, just being able to step into what could bring up some fear and discomfort is acting like a professional. You know, real estate agents are willing to give any hour of their day away. You know, they're willing to ruin an evening, a family fun night on a Friday, if you wanna go see a home or you wanna put an offer on a home or an offer comes in on your home, right? We're just willing to give our time away to anything and there's no standards. We think that everything, you know, is more important than the thing that we're doing that's outside of our business. So by setting standards, you can move closer to having the time freedom that you're looking for. I uh, was able to sit down with a buddy of mine who I actually met on my first missions trip I went to uh, in Peru with Samaritan's Feet. Uh, he actually moved his family back to Charlotte, North Carolina, which is that's where I live. And he runs a machine shop here and he was working 70 hours a week. Stay with me, machine shop owner, there's a point to the story. He was working 70 hours a week and he heard my one of my podcast episodes on this topic. He's like, I'm working evenings and weekends and he's going to tell me to do this thing. And it was standards around your time and what you're willing to do. And within a two to three week period, he went from working 70 hours a week to working 40 hours a week with no sacrifice and output in his business. In fact, his business is growing. He had this mindset where he had to be the one doing it all. And he just offloaded a little bit to an up and coming shop manager, offloaded some of the administrative tasks he was doing to his administrator. And he was able to free up almost half of his working hours to give back to, he still has this ministry in Peru. So give back some time to that and also give back a big chunk of time to his family. And so my last point is that it was true of him as well, is where can you offload in your business? 
You know, if you're showing homes on evenings and weekends and you want to make more than a showing agent makes, and you may not even know what a showing agent is, it's someone that shows home homes. There are people in your market that would love to show homes to your clients. Whether you bring them on your team or you just contract out to them, it's an unbelievable leverage point, right? You can pay 20 bucks an hour to have someone show homes on the evenings or weekends so you don't have to. Same thing with administrative tasks. You know, what can you offload to an administrator? You know, there's always an opportunity to pick up great part-time administrative support. Folks that have maybe chose a different path in their life, maybe they're not full-time corporate, but they still need to earn an income and they can only do it in a short amount of hours in a day. You know, so begin to think of yourself as the CEO of your business and what a CEO does versus what, you know, an administrator does. And there's no value you know, judgment about being a CEO versus being an administrator. It's just that you need to make the choice not to be the administrator. If you want to be an administrator, you're going to make administrative money and that's not what we're after. And if you want to be a showing agent, then you're going to be showing homes on evenings and weekends. And so start to think of your business as, you know, what things am I really passionate about? What things pay really well and where that passion versus pay, where the high passion, high pay activities are so you can spend more of your time doing that. So I know that was a lot to take in. I threw a lot at you. I pushed and challenged you quite a bit to think about your business differently and just to challenge the status quo in our industry. You know, if we think about our businesses as true businesses, we can't be the one doing everything in the business. And many times it doesn't lead our clients being served at the highest level anyway. And so if we're exhausted, you know, working from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., six nights a week and you know half days on Sundays, we're not gonna show up to anyone in our life at a high level. You know, we're gonna be cranky all the time. We're gonna kick the dog. It's just not gonna be a good situation. So uh, I just challenge you to think about it differently. You know, I'm so passionate about this. I wrote a whole book on it, Scale or Die. You can go to scaleordiebook.com or click on the link below. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and then make sure you leave comments so we can have a back and forth. Even if you challenge my thinking, I want to challenge your thinking back and we can do that together in the comments section. And, uh, you know, I love bringing you this value. I love the industry and everything it stands for. And we'll see you in the next video.